Every summer we went down there, man. Me and James, Dorothy. Got in one and didn't go. You know. <laughs> got my mother, my mother put it up us on the train that evening. We got out of school. Down all the road we go. I was born in Blackwell, Arkansas, on December the 6th, December 13th, 1936. Activity was around the uh, Blackwell, Arkansas store. Uh, it was uh, where most of the supplies for the black farmers and, uh, and, and white farmers also arrived what they needed to maintain themselves uh, from week to week. This was prior to all of the uh, civil rights uh, movements that uh, transferred, that, that transpired. Uh, I'm going back to uh, the 40s. As I got older, I, 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 don't, I don't know where I, my parents moved to. St. Louis City and all, but I know we moved to St. Louis. I was aware of the fact we did move to St. Louis from the Arkansas. And then there were times when in the summer when school was out, we would go out there and spend uh, a week or two down there with each of my grandparents who still had property and lived on the property in Blackwell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I stayed with my, my, my father, my grandmother, my grand, his, his mother. Grandma Emma, 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 Emma Anderson. See, man, she's a real cool country lady. <laughs> yeah. We got our ways, but ain't we human beings too? If our lives don't matter, no lives matter. Thus, life of our future dying is unacceptable. Living for what we believe in is life uh. itself. And that in itself is beautiful ah. people. Beautiful people, let's take a second and think. We continue to... First street that I can remember staying on was Finney Avenue. Speaking of Finney Avenue. And then we moved from Finney Avenue to 1046 A. North Taylor. I remember that quite vividly. There was quite a, was quite a, a, a few things that uh, would be out in the neighborhood where I'm not there were a lot of other kids our age who were doing me in the middle back from across the street, uh, across the yard, and then we had uh, just a lot of various activities going. We needed most of them. Scotty, Dorothy, and me, James, six of us. Okay. Family conscious, and especially the black, the black in the neighborhood, you know. Older than that, this is the family. Segregation, segregation, and limitations. Blue. Blue blacks. Get me some candy on my butt all the time. Mm. <laughs> and I was Great Taylor and uh, Cloverleaf Tavern on that corner over there, right over there. Boy, that was a, that was a hot spot.
Well, yeah, well, it, it, it was, it was I, that won the Golden Glove Championship, and uh, it was in the Little uh, Democrat, you know. Uh, but I had, but, I, but it, it was known around the school <coughs> that I had boxed because I had won a couple of city, 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 city tournament boxing tournaments. Uh, at the World Center, it was the World Center, and uh, I trained, I trained, I, I trained hard, and I, I, I became very, very competitive with some of the better fighters in the city. I had a very shy community center, Rock AC, which has a tough boy, uh, Gamble Community Center. There was some, some, some tough fighters. I was fortunate enough to be able to compete with them, you know, and did pretty well. I lived with Motil. I used to come down, that's Peter, come down, Fairfax, come down, Till, come down, walk all the way to Till down in the head. That's cool, you know. Mm -hmm. We used to buy lunches and they threw a little bill at the table. Right there? Yeah, he used to eat some sandwiches in there. Yeah. 